Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our Subnautica Below Zero series here on YouTube. I hope that you're having an excellent afternoon, and I will, uh, wait, I don't know what I was going to say. Sometimes my brain just goes, sorry, my, sometimes my mouth just goes before my brain has a chance to catch up. Freaking, it's a freaking YouTuber problem, man. I just talk all day in front of a camera, and all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back. In the last episode, we built a bunch of upgrades for our prawn suit, which we're about to try out right now. Um, you know, I'm not saying uh, today is the day that Chew Toy either, you know, it's like a, it's like the first time you fly an airplane. I have no, no idea about how to fly an airplane. We're either going to fly high or we're going to crash low. Uh, Chew Toy is headed into the depths. I got a bunch of, of upgrades. We're going to install them all and we're getting out of here. Uh, there is one more thing I was thinking about. One more upgrade I was thinking about. This one. How, what, how expensive is polyaniline? Because... Oh, the other thing we were going to do today is craft our uh, high-capacity oxygen tank, so I, I should get on that. Um, hydrochloric acid and gold. It's not expensive at all. Hydrochloric acid and gold. We should probably take this with us then, just in case. I mean, at this point, we got the freaking... We have one polyaniline... Or... Oh, no, that was for Alan's. Never mind. That's set aside for Alan. Uh... We got all these resources. We should put them to use. How do you make hydrochloric acid? Wait. Hydrochloric acid is young cotton anemone and salt. It takes three of them. Okay. I think I'm growing them out here. So I gotta grab three of these plus. All right, sweet. Plus we'll uh, plant some more. Just because I feel bad just taking some. All right. Let's go ahead and make this thermal reactor. We're gonna have more mods than we can actually fit inside of our. Uh... Welcome aboard, Captain. Inside of our thing, but it'll be fine. So I just said hydrochloric plus salt, uh, which should be right here. Probably keep this thing running, honestly, just in case we need more salt someday, you know. Salt or water. All right. So uh, an extra hydrochloric, which means an extra polyaniline. If I have the other thing, gold. Oh, we're upgrading like crazy right now. That's done. Uh, I thought I had another one in my inventory. Oh my god, I literally just said it's for Alan. Fuck. <laughs> I'll just take it anyways. Who cares? Uh, Alan cares. Alan's inside of my brain right now being like, you'll do what now? You'll just take it? Okay. So how committed are you really to getting me my own body. All right. Uh, this ion battery is still charging. So while that's still charging, we'll keep, uh, we'll keep working on some stuff. Uh, I think we finally built everything. So I think anything in my inventory currently can actually go away. Uh, check the lithium in here. Chuck the magnetite in there. Chuck the hydrochloric acid in there. So much stuff. We'll come back in for that uh, ion power cell here in a second. Ion battery here in a second. Let's figure you out. Let's figure you out. Uh, I think on it, we actually want that. And then we want that. And these guys can stay out. And the thermal reactor can go in. Hell yeah. All right, cool. So we can just rotate these in or out if we need to. Uh, I don't know how the, like, if the torpedoes should go in here. Probably, right? Load this into a vehicle torpedo bay. Wait. Oh, right there. Fuck. All right, never mind. Oh my god, I can put six of them in there? Holy shit. Damn, that's intense. 
That's like having sex while camping. It's fucking intense. All right. Chew toy's looking dangerous. Chew toy's looking, oh buddy, looking. I don't know that I'd want to cross Chew toy right now. Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and replace you with a normal battery. Replace you with a good battery. Okay, good battery in there. Look you here. And we are set. So, what, we're, what are we set to do? Well, uh, in the last episode, we got all the magnetite that uh, we needed to craft a bunch of stuff. That leaves a couple goals on my... A couple goals on uh, my list of things to do. Not a lot. One of the big ones is explore deeper by the in in the deep blue crystal area, because um, we've not gone very deep there. Another one that we're actually able to do now is uh, now that we have the propulsion arm on the prawn suit, I can take that to fire robotics and uh, get into one place that I couldn't get in before. So we have that to look forward to, I guess. I think it's time to go into the deep blue crystal though. Um, I think that's the, uh, welcome aboard captain. Welcome aboard captain. Um, uh, I think that's the plan. So how do I shoot a torpedo? Just hypothetically speaking. Uh, it's my right arm. Okay. So the grapple's awesome. Grapple's very cool. Can I, I just torpedoed that fish. Oh my God. That was awesome. So if I just right click, I bet I shoot a torpedo. I don't want to test it. Then again, come at me, homie. Come at me. I dare you. Chelsea, where you're at? I'm just kidding. I don't want to kill Chelsea. <laughs> this is awesome. I feel way more safe now than I used to. I feel prepared. Now that I've said all of these things, I'm definitely going to die. <laughs> There's no chance I don't eat it uh, and die here now that I've said all that shit. Okay, let's hit through this hole. Go over here. And this should take us to Marge's base. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There must be a little bit of a cooldown on this thing. Oh, it's a reach. I understand. Is it just me or is the grappling arm worse than it was in the first game? Is it worse? I don't know if it doesn't reach as far. I mean... To be clear, worse. It was like kind of fully broken in the first game. Like it worked so well. You were like truly spider manning around. I only used it a little bit right at the end. I'm sure many of you know. I'm sure many of you watched the series, but. Like it felt like this is too good to be true. All right. I'm gonna use Tarkov strats here. Which is not a thing I planned on saying here. I feel like I could get in real danger if I don't have uh, lots of stamina and ability to jump. So, I'm going to try to keep stamina, half stamina at all times. I mean, do we just go hella deep here? Like... feels like the thing that I didn't do last time was just go deep, right? Oh, hi, friend. You know what? On that note, we're just going to go straight at you. We're going over here. I don't know what this is. Holy shit, it's deep, though. Torpedo arm. You want to fight me? Check this out. 
Oh, apparently they're so strong that I just latched myself to it. This is kind of nerve Oh my god, that's a big fall. We're like parachuting into a war zone right now. This is terrifying. Okay, lots of arms here. Arms plus, plus lithium? Can I grab it? I don't have a normal hand, so I can't grab it. Shit. Probably should, though. I have gotten lost so quickly here. All right, well, let's just be thorough and explore everything we can. I don't feel like this is an area that I could probably get attacked by the, the guy. We're 620 meters deep by the shadow. Oh my God, and it just keeps going. Holy shit. My friend, please ignore me. I am like you. I am like you. You see my arms? I'm like you. The one of my arms shoots a death machine out of it. Okay, so there's like a little rock bridge there, kind of, which I think is what I parachuted onto. Down a step at a time here. I'll try and explore one vertical layer at a time, maybe. Even though we already skipped one, the whole first layer. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with a way to do this that makes sense. The prawn suit is so bulky on my screen right now. Like, it feels like it carries up so much of my vision. It's 79% power already. Damn. I don't think I put ion power cells in this sucker, though. There's All right, while we're here, I'm going to do it. While we're here, I'm going to do it. I'm going to grab as many resources as I can of the uh, pretty, oh, God, of the pretty valuable variety because I think I might otherwise really, we just spent a couple episodes looking for stuff. Lithium magnetite. There was magnetite down here. God damn it. I told myself there wasn't. Magnetite's harder to get than lithium now. Lithium's still by my home. Okay, we'll pick up some kyanite when we see it right there. Good call. Warning. 30 yep. seconds of oxygen remaining. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yep, yep. All right. We gotta stand on some vent thermal vents to get our power back, I guess. Hi, friend. There's no way they would make the, uh, the torpedo lethal, right? Everything I know based on this game, it's possible to kill animals, but only you have to you have to be like really fucked up in the head and take a knife swing to it a million times. I almost hit the wrong button there. been a tragedy. What's back here? Just a little... Crevasse. With the same... Oh, hi. Same thing up here. Little crevasse. Go ahead and pick that up. I'm going to keep it in my personal inventory for now. All right. We want to head back down. Or is this the wrong way? Shit, it was. All right. Back down. Yeah, I, I'm realizing the more and more I spin down here, we're at like 20% explored for this area, max. You know? We're 600 meters deep now. 
Here's a rock bridge again. Is this the same rock bridge I was on earlier? Wait, 91 degrees Celsius. Am I charging? I'm charging. Hell yeah. Don't you mess with me right now, homie. I'm charging. I'm going to stand on top of the vent just because it seems cool. Great. Fuck, I fell. We'll get up to like 90% and then we'll continue on. Uh, all right, I feel... Yeah, like I was saying, I feel really not particularly uh, like I've explored this area well. How do I get deeper from here, though? There's a rock bridge. There's the other rock bridge, right? Nope, wrong way. Nope, that's the same rock bridge. All right. I guess we'll go this way. I'll shoot you. I'll do it. 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 Nope, 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 nope. Oh my god, I gave him a swirly. Yo, that was awesome. No, 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 not again, not again, not again. Nope, I don't have unlimited uh, torpedoes. Come back! I grabbed the wrong thing there. I don't have unlimited torpedoes. 646. All right, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. That was pretty cool. I have to admit that was pretty cool. I understand why those are expensive now because they appear to be an incredible work of science. Whatever whatever it is that we were just doing there. Incredible work of science. All right. I think honestly maybe he doesn't roam as much down here. Now we're at 6 660. This might be outside of its area. Oh yeah, we got something big here. This is a big drop off on the way to deeper material. This is something. I don't know what it is, but this is something. Is that a shit ton of kyanite? It is. You just send it here? Oh god. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, it's very green. What are those? That's the rock puncher egg. I think we are technically... Let's see if we can get out and see. 70 degrees Celsius. Apparently, I can swim in it. What is this? No? Silver ore. All right. We're charging all the time, too. That's cool. I don't want to get stuck in that. It looks like a really easy way to get your prawn suit stuck forever. Oh, I don't know that this is anything. I think it's just a little kyanite uh, mining place. Huh. All right. Cool. I mean, I could I could mine the shit out of some kyanite if I wanted to. Why not? While we're here. Uh, it seems dumb not to, right? Uh, drill. Might as well. I may need a shit ton of it for the future. Okay. 748 meters deep. So we still have... Here's the thing, right? 
They wouldn't put an 1100 meter depth module in the game if, this is my opinion and not fact, if we couldn't get pretty damn close to 1100 meters, right? Like, all right, so which arm's which? Uh, left is this one, right? Yeah, okay. So, I mean, Lift, 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 lift. Lift. Oh god, this is tough. I made it. So I think there's got to be a way to get down even deeper. Crack here. I'm just waiting on it. Alan's going to say something any minute now. I'm kind of teasing, but I'm also like... Probably, right? Like, oh my god, there's a shit ton of kind of here. Four right there. Bunch of silver, I think. Oh my god, a lot of silver. Does this, does this go deeper here? Oh, it does. All right, well, we'll do that. I just love the idea that there's a prawn suit uh, arm here, you know? Oh, we should have brought a fucking... Uh, oh, God. Uh, beacon with us. I feel like this might be a place we could use a beacon. I feel like we're on the right track of something here. Oh, this is a dead end. Holy shit. What is that thing? I think it's just one of those. All right. Well, damn. <gasps> That's the wrong button. Shit. We all knew it was going to happen, right? We all knew it was going to happen eventually. I still have four more, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> I should, right? I have no idea where we are. Everything looks the same here. This is a lot of crystal though, right? That's a lot of crystal. That's more crystal than we've seen before. Wait, is there a hole here? Wait, am I going down a hole? Oh god, I can't see where I'm going. Ah! Ah! Leave me be. Leave me be. Leave me be. One degree Celsius here? Alright, we have three torpedoes left, by the way. Oh my god, this is where we're supposed to go. In the middle of this shit. <laughs> There's a path right here. Real quick, we're gonna do this. Uh, <laughs> Deep blue. I like, uh, I didn't realize it at all. I called this place Deep Blue. The crystals are purple. <laughs> They're barely blue. There's something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. Yes, Alan! Incredible! can help you build my body. Is it a blueprint then, or is it a build your body location, or both? Let's go. Let's go. There's a source of uh, light right there. Alien light. This place is crazy. Oh my god, it's deep. 
Awesome, right there. Okay, cool. So, we're going to just take our slow time getting over there, making sure that we get to see everything there is to see around here. Oh my god, I accidentally tried to... Wait, did I use all of my torpedoes? Shit. The crystals in this environment are confusing my senses. And yet I feel certain there is something important to learn. A facility or a body component. Perhaps both. Perhaps it's both. But it might be both. Um, it also appears to be something right through there. Do I have any torpedoes left? I don't. You're telling me I put I used all four torpedoes? That's not good. No more torpedoes. No more torpedoes. All right. Well, we have the room back that way. Back that way. We have a definite like path right here, right? probably one of those like there's multiple paths to the same place kind of situation nope just a little interwined intertwined cave okay all right let's do it let's do it looks like i'm swimming oh yeah okay definitely swimming All right. Somehow the crystals are confusing the signal for Alan. God, it's gorgeous. I love these these crystals. They're beautiful, but it is also a little bit like uh, it looks dangerous. Uh, 827 meters beneath the sea to have a leak like that. They're a little like funhouse mirrory. Something to the right and something to the left. Nope, these are just little, uh, <laughs> Robin just made the jump. Ow, fuck. Robin made the jumping sound right there, right as a reclaimed water entered my inventory. And I was like, Robin, do you have a UTI? Like, does it hurt to pee right now? He went, Hah! Right as this appeared. Appeared. Get it? It's a terrible joke. That's the worst joke I've made in days. Oh, it's one of the Spidey boys. What the fuck is that? Our organs is what we're supposed to find, by the way. What is that? These look like shelves. <gasps> Is each one of these a... Oh, wow. It looks like potentially lungs, kidneys, or something like that. God, I'm not a medical person. Can you tell? My wife were here. Constituent... Parts. Alan wanted to say something. Fuck. What did you want to say, Alan? I clicked it. The architect organs are efficiently, are effectively a network of biocomposite and cybernetic material containing a variety of subsystems. The heart is a particularly complex centerpiece in this biological slash technological hybrid. It moves blood and nutrients throughout the body to nourish and maintain the animal aspects of the alien corpus, while also functioning as the primary energy source for the cybernetic neuro neurological system. Sensory input is processed and filtered into a dense network of incredibly comp incredible computational power, the architect brain. That might be the thing up top, the like hair looking stuff. No, re but I don't know. No respiration or digestive systems appear to be present, suggesting a life that is fed entirely by, by sustained electrical energy and a body that can survive in environments that are otherwise extremely hostile to most life forms. 
In spite of its intricate design, the insistence on incorporating biological components exposes the architect's body to the possibility of disease. You will be able to construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. <laughs> your feedback has been noted. <laughs> you have scanned all the components we need to make a stage yes! of body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. Uh, but where? But how? But wh in what way? Alan, tell me more. These are gorgeous. These are really cool. Am I stuck? Oh my god, I was stuck for a second. God, I wish there was more to scan here. I wish there was something about like... I'm reading this as a storage facility. But why do they have an architect organ? I guess if... Why would they have an organ storage facility is what I was going to say. But I guess if the architects were here, they could have a storage for like almost like waiting, a waiting transplant, like in case something happened to the original organs, tissues, they could have like a transplant system. Huh. That's my guess for what that room is. Ion cube, ribbon plant, kyanite times three. I'm going to go ahead and mark them all. Diamond, plasteel, polyaniline. That's the one we already had. Gel sac, root, pustule times two, synthetic fibers. These are all very craftable. I think I have everything we need there. Here's something I'm interested in. I wonder what Marguerite thinks of me building Alan a body. We haven't told Marguerite any of this. I feel like Marguerite, strong, opinionated Marguerite, might have an opinion or two about what we do here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Welcome aboard to you. Very cool. Holy shit. We have all three. Can you imagine? Oh my god, I'm excited. We're going to keep looking around here real quick. There appear different ways in. Like, I don't think that... I don't think this is the way that I came in. Maybe it is, though. Oh my god, I'm so happy we built the grappling arm. We'd have been fucked without it. You know? I had no chance without it. This is 675. Meters deep. Hmm. So this would be a crack pretty near to... No, oh, this crack doesn't go to it. This crack, crack is pretty near to the place where we just found that. I don't know how deep we got there, but it can't have been more than like 800, right? Maybe 850. So that suggests. There should still be quite a bit deeper we can go. I have no. Listen, you can't fight me right now. I have no. No! I have no protection. I have no torpedoes. This is a problem. We're in open space. Versus a swimming beastie. 
God, this area is so fucking hard to follow. Where I am. Well, I wonder if we go back now or if we just keep exploring. This still feels the least explored of any place I've been. Maybe, maybe Alan's body will just show up on the fabricator, you know? I highly doubt it. This goes relatively deep. This is probably just going to be a mining of kyanite section, though. God, I'm so nervous this thing's gonna get stuck. All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna set right there for a second, let it recharge a little bit. Um, may, it's possible, I guess, this would appear on the fabricator now rather than having a specific place to build it. But every part of like, from a logistical standpoint, I guess that makes sense. But every part of my writing instincts tells me it should be a different location for like the narrative of how special it is to build Alan. So I think we're probably still waiting on a piece of information there. Also, Alan never told me that we were close to this area. So it was just full exploration on my part or uh, like, like to come to this area. So we may have to do that for the next thing too. Um, we're gonna get out and chuck a piece of food in our body. Um, probably these cured animals here. Because I am hungry and need a little bit of, and honestly also, you know what? We'll take the water too. All right. <clears throat> well, well, oh shit, we're barely even charging. It's not even all that warm right here. Warmer here. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Oh man, after a couple uh just me doing what I would like uh episodes. We're back on track with Alan. And yet still so many questions remain. I don't feel like we have this deep blue area. Uh, deep purple area explored fully. Still feel like 40% explored, maybe. Uh, we have no idea where to build, Alan. Yeah, but we have plenty of things we could keep doing. And as long as I got a couple things I'll keep, keep doing, I'll keep making episodes. But a huge, a huge checkpoint has been reached, which is skeleton... What's it called? Skeleton organs and tissue? I did not mean to fire there. Skeleton's organ and tissue. Yeah. Um, all three completed. We're a step closer than ever to bringing the architects back. And soon they have a pop... Currently, we assume they have a population of zero. Soon they may have a population of one. Thanks so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, a like or a positive comment down below helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Shout out the long-term community member, Dokoritsu, who is our newest Patreon supporter. Dokoritsu, I appreciate you very much. Thank you for the support over on Patreon. Much love. Uh, I, I appreciate you. This episode and our achievements today go out to you. So, thanks y'all for watching. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with another episode at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.